Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 42 and in this tutorial we are going to continue talking about tables and I'm actually going to be talking about call span and row span specifically. So uh, call span and row span allow us to make a column that spans over multiple cells or we can go ahead and use row span to make a row or a cell span over multiple rows. So by the way, that's supposed to make a cell span over multiple columns. I might have mixed that up a second ago, but yeah. Okay, so uh, now let's go ahead and learn how to do that. So I'm gonna be using this table, which we made in the previous tutorial, okay? And if you guys don't have this table because you didn't watch the previous tutorial, go back and watch that and you'll be good to go. So uh, if we take a look at this in the browser, we've got something that looks kind of like this, where we have our caption and then our table. But what I want to do is actually make this caption part of the table. So the first thing I'm going to do is make this caption appear in the first row and um, actually take up or make a cell that spans all four columns in the first row for that caption. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So to do that, I'm going to start off a table row and I'm going to end off a table row. So we're going to get rid of that caption tag. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do is uh, create a table cell over here. So we're going to do that by just uh, making one called table data and we're just going to close that off. But we now want to make this um, cell actually sp span over multiple columns because if I refresh this right now you can see we've got um, this uh, table data or this table cell over here spanning over only one column and that is kind of annoying because now you've got these uh, other three columns over here that actually have nothing above them and this first column uh, called rank is stretched way out much further than it needs to be because um, you know we only have a one num one digit number in here uh, so it really doesn't need to be as wide as it is right now so uh, I'm going to go ahead and add an attribute over here called call span and I'm going to set that equal to how many columns we want this cell to span over so you can see that the rest of our rows all consist of four cells. So that means that we want this column to span over four cells so that it'll take up the full width of the table. So let's go back and click refresh. And as you can see, we now have this new cell up here that actually spans over all of the other um, columns. So we've got one, one actual cell that spans over multiple columns and that is what call span is used for and we can do the same thing uh, except make it span over multiple rows and that is called row span so to do that I'm going to go back over to CSS or HTML I don't know why I keep calling it CSS and what I'm actually going to do here is take this uh, cell and I'm going to cut that out I'm going to get rid of this row because uh, we don't actually need a blank row and what I'm going to do is add that um, table data or uh, that table cell into our first row okay and if I go back to Firefox now and click refresh things are going to look a little bit funny because we now have this one cell over here and uh, to be honest it, let's change that call span as well because uh, we don't actually need that attribute there either. Okay, because we're not going to take a look at call span anymore. We're taking a look at row span. So click refresh. We now have um, this column over here, and then we have our actual um, rank is out of place because the rank, the numbers one, two, three, and four, need to appear under this heading rank and Tetris needs to appear under the title not under the rank uh, so everything's shifted over one 
and you know that looks kind of weird but what I want to do here is actually make this um, cell span over multiple rows so to do that I'm gonna go back to um, our table over here and I'm gonna go back to this this actual table data and I'm going to give that an attribute of row span and we're gonna set that equal to how many rows we want this uh, cell to span so if we take a look at this we've got one two three four five rows that we want that to span over so row span I'm gonna set equal to five click refresh uh, save and uh, come back here and click refresh and as you can see we've now pushed everything back to where it's supposed to be so the rank now has the numbers one two three and four the title contains all the titles the release year contains the years copy sold has the copy sold but over here we've got one huge cell which uh, contains our actual description of the table and you know this probably isn't the best way to do this but you know it's just an example so if you guys ever want to make a cell that spans over multiple rows then that is how you do that and if you want to make it span over multiple columns then I just showed you guys how to do that as well so yeah uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this video don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share this video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys in the next one.